to the Hollow Sky Podcast listener experience. We are your hosts. I'm Steven. And Kyle. And for those of you that are new, this is our Thursday show where we feature a listener experience and me and Kyle talk about it for a little bit. Uh, regular shows drop on Monday. Our night shift live shows drop on Tuesday. And this is our Thursday show. So looking forward to this. We got a uh, listener call in from our friend John we'll get into in a minute. Before we do that, we go through the business. So check us out at all our socials, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Discord, Reddit. Search up the Hollow Sky Podcast. We will be there, and you can come and join the Hollow Cult because that's the cool thing to do. If you have a listener experience that you would like to have featured on a future episode of our uh, listener experience show, Kyle's got some details for you. You can write that story out or record it just like John did here and send that to the email which is going to be hollowskypodcast at gmail.com. You can call or text the hollow phone. That's going to be 618-556-0837. Any more, the preferred way is through the email. A little bit easier. We can flag them and bring them to our attention so they don't get lost in the, in the mix of things. But we do want your stories short or long. It doesn't really matter to us. Uh, Obviously, the more detail, the better. But this is this is a great place to share your stories and let us talk about them for a little bit. Hell, yes, it is. That being said, we are going to jump right into it. Uh, I'm excited that this is a phone a phone entry because uh, we don't get those very often anymore. No. So uh, this is straight from the archive of our friend John. All right. So I'm driving. Hello, Steve. Hello, Kyle. Um, So, my name is John. I live in central Vermont. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys about my Bigfoot sighting. So, uh, I've emailed one of you, or both of you. I don't really know how that works. But uh, I've emailed both of you... uh, couple of times just saying random stuff but I've never really known how to uh, tell about my encounter and I'm just kind of going out on a limb and recording it and um, so I started listening to Sasquatch Chronicles probably about four or five years ago and I started really getting into like Bigfoot and I guess it might be like a, a memory thing because I remember as a kid around my town, uh, somebody would go out and they would spray paint uh, white big footprints everywhere, like local swimming holes. We live near a big water source, Lake Champlain. and um, But yeah. Uh, so they'd spray paint the Bigfoot thing. So as a child, it was implanted in the back of my mind. And uh, I started listening to Sasquatch Chronicles. And um, I started doing stuff like going out in the woods and doing wood knocks. And that was pretty harmless enough. But uh, I've got a camp in the woods uh, a few miles off of town. And... We had done the wood knocks and we're having a fire, me and a couple of the guys, and we get a whoop. We get a really loud whoop. Like, uh, whoop! Didn't sound like an owl. It sounded like a howler monkey. And um, that, that was one time. We left shortly after. Everybody got kind of nervous, like the hair stood on end. We looked with our flashlights for an owl or, or anything to explain that noise. There weren't any bears out because bears hibernate when we were out there, which was probably mid-December. Um, and so we, we kept, we, we got, we all thought, me and my friends, like, okay, maybe let's uh, get more in depth. So we did more wood knocks and this and that and All of a sudden, hiking in the woods, it was kind of an eerie time. You'd feel like you were being watched, or just down by the river, like you were being watched. 
and uh, months go by and I, I go to the local county fair uh, with a different friend of mine and we say, all right, this is kind of lame. We watched a couple of the, uh, the car rallies and truck rallies and that, that, that was all right, but then we left and we went for a drive down these back roads quite near where we did the wood knocks. And we're coming down off the mountain, going next to the river, where the person years ago would spray paint all the footprints and whatnot. And we, it's pouring rain, by the way. And we come down the river, it's thunder and lightning. And I see this thing cross the river and it, it scares the living shit out of me. Like, this thing crosses the river in a blink of an eye, and it is much fucking taller than my buddy's truck. It had to be at least 14 feet tall, and I see it, and we drive, keep on driving, and that's not the case. I go, hey, Dylan... Did you see that? Did you see that right there? And the part that scared me the most is he looks at me and he goes, yes, I did. So to this day, I'm fairly certain it looked that I saw a Bigfoot in itself. And it, it and the thing is, is it's not that offhand because Whitehall, New York is only 50 miles south, if that, from where we are. And Hubberton, where there was another Sasquatch sighting, Hubberton, Vermont. There was a Sasquatch sighting. So I believe that I saw Bigfoot, and I don't think that I'm the first person around these parts to have seen one. Anyways, that's my, uh, that's my encounter. So, uh, yeah. Have a good night. Merry Christmas. John, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, call in your encounter. A lot of our submitters and affiliates are named John. Yeah, we do have a lot of Johns in, weird. in, in the Hollow Cult, actually. Very uh, common. Uh, Brother John, Stranger John, now this John. Multi, multi Johns. It's weird. Uh... The whole time I was like, I don't know if I missed it in the beginning, but I was wondering like where this account took place. But you wrap that up on the back end uh, with it being in uh, New York. Definitely a squatchy place, that's for sure. Uh, I'm curious about the history of the spray-painted footprints. Me too. It definitely stuck out in my, my brain. That's like a mystery in itself. Yeah, it makes me wonder if there was somebody that was like, trying to keep the lore alive, you know, like somebody had seen it way back in the day and they're like, oh, we're going to keep the memory fresh with everybody. Was somebody highlighting the the path that the original sighting took? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Or is it some asshole that's just like, ha, watch this, I'm going to spray paint Bigfoot prints everywhere and laugh about it. Or it could have been somebody that had seen something and didn't necessarily want to come forward. But if you put something weird like that out, it gets people talking. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, like, hey, that's there's true. Bigfoot prints. Well, actually, I happen to see one down at the golf course. Right. I happen to see one at the bowling alley, you know. And then that kind of gets the word out and going. But that is, that's a cool, uh, cool little chunk of lore about your said town, first off. I wish something cool like that would happen in my town. But there's only, like, 25 people here, so that's not happening. Secondly, I do like that it kind of sparked off uh, your interest in Sasquatch and Bigfoot, hence going out to your campsites, doing the wood knocks, doing a banger of a whoop, I might add. <laughs> that was solid. Yes. That was yes. solid. If that doesn't get you a response. That's I don't probably know. why Bigfoot decided to follow you and check you out. Cause it was like, damn, that was that was solid. I'm gonna have to go check this dude out. Yeah, 
it's thinking it's another Bigfoot and come to find out it's not. It is cool that it does that count as a catfish moment? Did he just catfish a Bigfoot? Mm. Posing as yeah, I think it is. I feel like that's a catfish moment. I feel like all Bigfoot hunters. Yeah, they, they catfish. Yeah. Bigfoot. Yeah. And then it's when weird revelation. Then when paranormal entities do it back to us, we're like, oh, they're so nefarious by using baby cries and <laughs> mimicking our names. When the whole time we're out here mimicking them. Like they're just That's a valid fire point. with fire. That's a valid point. <laughs> But when you actually may put eyes on the creature, uh, that is a big, big boy. Oh, man. If it was legitimately 14 foot tall. Monstrous. Yeah, I'm scared. That's no joke. Monstrous. I'm scared and I wasn't there. Uh, I'm actually looking up uh, Bigfoot heights. That's like the biggest Bigfoot ever. I saw a Bigfoot height chart. Uh, not Estimated Bigfoot height. Uh, very few over 12 footers, according to the, to Wilson, to Wilson I'm, I'm sure it's a very scientific chart too. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's probably, well, I know I've heard reports of at least 12 foot tall Bigfoots though. This is at least, this has got about 1500 recorded eyewitness sightings. And it gives you a nice little bar chart of how uh, big they are. And they range everywhere from 4 feet to 12 plus feet. And most of them are right in the 7, 8, 6, between 6 to 900, or wow, 6 to 9 feet tall. But anyone over 12 feet is few and far between. There's like 20 out of the probably 1,500 were 12, 12 foot plus. So that's a big, big... Well, yeah, beast. I don't, I don't think that the average person comprehends how large fourteen feet is. No, that's monstrous. You know, you just think about your basketball hoops. The rim's ten foot. Yeah. So add another four to that. So that's probably what two feet over top of the typical backboard. Yeah, I got ten ten foot ceilings in the uh, spare room. Yeah. So he's not even fitting in there. No, that's that's that's, that's tall, man. That's tall. That's that's scary. Not to mention the amount of muscle that's going to be on that thing to move that body. And it's highly unlikely that it was a person because you said it was pouring rain and they were crossing or what do you say a river or something a yeah. stream. Um, highly unlikely that it's a person. It is interesting though that, like you had, you had this chronological set of events. Like when you're younger, you see the spray painted Bigfoot tracks sparks your interest. Then you go camping and you hear the whoops and whatnot only to later on have a full fledged sighting. Yeah. It was like, it was almost weird prepping you. It's definitely strange. Uh, not calling you fake or anything. It just, it's just crazy that it plays out that way. Like yeah. there's this, almost like there's like this subtle connection between you and it. Yeah, it was almost like like it was like it was priming it, making sure that you were, you were ready. Yeah, def it's weird. It's definitely weird. And I just I don't know that. Like I said, I don't know don't, don't know a lot of people like, like actually gauge what it would mean to see something like that out in the woods. I, I don't, I, I can't even like really f essentially fathom a 14 foot tall humanoid. No. Cause it's going to be, it's going to be twice. Chances are in real life, you probably haven't seen a seven footer, seven foot tall person in your life. Yeah. So it would be, it, it's double that. So <laughs> it, it would be hard to like That's put it together. insane to actually think about. Yeah. Double the tallest basketball player. Yeah. That's wild. Just stack two shacks on top of each yeah. other. Yeah, you're, you're looking at a 14-foot tall silverback gorilla, essentially, which is crazy. And furthermore, like, if you if you go back to, like, the, the more normal-ish size Bigfoots, 
I don't even know how I'd react seeing that because there, I feel like there's a part of me in my brain that would be fascinated more than afraid. Because I'm gonna be like, look at that big ass monkey over there. You would. It would probably be. It, it, I bet it would weigh two thousand pounds. A fourteen foot one. Yeah. Oh yeah. I found this chart here that it takes footprint length, and then it adjusts it to height, to chest, uh, width. chest width, to weight, and it only goes up to nine and a half feet. So a nine and a half foot, according to this scale, I don't know what exactly they use, like what linear scale they use, but a nine and a half foot tall Sasquatch essentially would have a twenty four foot or a twenty four inch footprint, heel to toe. Its chest width would be 77 inches. How wide is that? Big. Yeah. What is it? Uh, five feet. Uh, like six, six and yeah, change. Six over six. So and that means his chest is wider than I am tall. And that's a, that's a nine and a half footer. That's, that's insanity. And its weight is estimated to be 1,040 pounds. So you add, you're adding five feet to that. Which would make me wonder, but then again, there are large animals like an elephant, but an elephant has four limbs to rely on. It it almost makes me think that the lifespan of a Bigfoot is possibly not that great. Because imagine the stress that it puts on your body carrying that much weight around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that would be really bad for your joints and shit. Yeah, which would mean that they would they would break down fat, but I I could just not be a veterinarian slash. You would think it'd be hard person. on its on its legs, yeah, essentially and his knees. But and you stuff. also hear of Bigfoot running on all four limbs, ah, doing that's the weird true spider that's, crawl. That's true too. Uh, just for some perspective, the heaviest gorilla recorded was six feet tall, and it weighed five hundred and eighty nine pounds. That's still crazy. Yeah. Males in captivity can be overweight and reach weights up to 683 pounds. So they're... that oh, Dude, that thing would be monstrous. But logically, that probably wouldn't happen in the wild. No. They're out being because active. They're, yeah, they're moving a lot more and stuff like that. And being silverbacks and whooping ass. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find the tallest Bigfoot ever recorded while we're just sitting here hanging out. It's got to be in that fourteen range. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't think that there would be anything. I guess much I can't taller. put recorded, can I? I mean, kind of technically. Uh, fifteen. Most description estimate a height of roughly six to nine feet, with some descriptions having the creature standing as tall to ten to fifteen feet. So, a fifteen footer. Yeah. So it. I mean, it falls in. To the, other reports. The yeah, the reports of the sightings. It may just be like it may be some sort of alpha or some like it could be just an anomaly. Yeah, it could be some kind of like thyroid issue like we have. Like look at Robert Wadlow. If he wouldn't right. have died, he would have just kept growing. Right. Could very well be something like that. Oh, I'm sure. If it has anatomy, I mean what? you you'd have to think that there would be issues that could happen like that. According to eyewitnesses, the tallest Bigfoot stands. 19 feet tall. That's pure insanity. According to the Guinness Book of World Records. What? How is that in the Guinness World Book of Records? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's on the it's on the it's on the internet. How the fuck do you verify that? I'm not saying that they didn't verify it. I'm just saying how. I because logically, your brain would go, they don't have any evidence of this. They're just taking word for it. Yeah. But That's all it would have to be. Uh, it's, the, it's the Guinness World Book of Records. They do verify things, as far as I know. If it not, probably, I'm going to have a bunch of world records here in the next fucking three weeks. Yeah. They probably just took every Sasquatch encounter they could find and found the largest one. I hope not, but... Because... Because that would be lame. That would be foo-foo lame. That's, I mean, that's what it's saying. The tallest, because I, full, I 100% believe. It in, says according to witnesses. Oh. Uh, so. That's that's whack. 19 feet. I also that's a 100% boy. believe that these, these heights are possible, but I also know for a fact 
that a lot of people are really fucking shitty at estimating height and length. Yeah. They did You um, could have a you could have an eight footer out there and somebody's gonna go, huh, that's that, that was twelve feet tall. Yeah. It was it was easily over a basketball hoop. Uh give me one second. I bet I bet most people couldn't even hold their hands up at six inches and yeah. be close to six inches. So to give you to give you an example of how things are uh not taken out of blown out of proportion, but Trying to figure out height without context is hard. Uh, I talk up Expedition Bigfoot a lot. I love I love that show. Actually, they took the the Patterson Gimlin film, uh huh, Patty. They went to the exact location where it was filmed and they found some trees as point markers and they uh, did a digital rendering of how tall she was. That Bigfoot was six foot three inches tall, which is not. That's that's a that's a tall person. Yeah. Not even a super tall person. That's yeah. like a tall person. So what looks when you see it and you look and you think, man, that's a massive creature. Yeah. Essentially, like my uncle is probably six foot five. Right. So he would stand taller than this Bigfoot. Right. It's uh I don't know, it's weird. Well, and it's it's also hard in those circumstances too, because your adrenaline's gonna be through the roof. Yeah. Because you're seeing something that you're technically not supposed to be seeing. So there, there's a lot, there's, there's some wiggle room there. And a lot of times you don't have anything to compare it to. Right. You don't have any, like, there's not going to be a size chart right next to him. You're going to be comparing it to like, like John did. He is comparing it to the height of the truck. Yeah. And this thing towered over that truck. Right. You know? Yeah. Once again, not saying that John messed it up by any means. He might've got it dead on. I don't know. One thing's for sure though. He saw something huge out there. Big boy. Whether it was 14 foot, 12 foot, 10 foot, it's still massive. And it falls right within the range of the bigger uh, Sasquatch sighting. Exactly. Because there are, according to witnesses, 15 to 19 footers out there. That's giant. That's that. I can't even logically fucking, fathom that. A 19 footer is oh, what? A two story building? Can you Probably. Know? But you have accounts of Bigfoots looking in windows that are 10 feet high. Oh, yeah. Fucked. Yeah. I don't know, man. Just um, give me one that's like three feet high. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be scared of that one. I'll be scared of what is close to that one. Yeah, I'll be scared of whatever gave birth to that one. That's what I'm saying. Mama's probably not going to be too far. Yeah. You get a 16-footer swinging oak trees at you. Dude, it could be a six-footer, and I know that that six-footer will at least quadruple anything that I could ever physically do. Because you hear accounts of uh, Squatch going toe-to-toe with grizzly bears. You're going to have to be I believe it. a 12-footer to go after a grizzly bear. I believe it. Killing elk and moose and shit? Like, you got to be a you gotta be a thick boy. I could see a gorilla going toe-to-toe with a grizzly bear. Yeah. Uh, like, if it absolutely, if it, it a had A grizzly. We had this conversation. Yeah. It, that it would suck. Would suck. I don't even know who would win that fight. That would Me be. Either. I don't care. That'd be a brutal fight. I'm gonna be on the other side of the continent. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sticking around. I hate to have to refer- referee that one. Yeah, that'd be a rough one. It would. But we're gonna wrap her up there. Once we once we make it into wrestling territory, you know we've strayed far from the path, but also the only path that is Hollow Sky. It's true. So, friend John. Bigfoot Experiencer, thank you so much for taking the time to call that in. Uh, just be sure to drive safe if you're recording yeah. on your phone. Uh, yeah, not... for a second there, we thought you crashed. Yeah, yeah. But you brought it back around, so we're good with that. Uh, I, I'm curious. If you get a chance to look into uh, a little bit more of the lore of the spray-painted footprints, I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I'm Definitely in it. interesting. But with that being said, again, if you uh, want your experience featured on a future show, all the information at the beginning, we love you guys. Stay safe. Stay weird. And if you get a chance and you see a Bigfoot, uh, let's let's start carrying tape measures in our Holocult pack. Then we can get uh, some accurate readings. It's a good one. I like that. 